when I'm not working, I'm watching Trucker Josh on YouTube with Diesel Weasel. Hi, I'm Vince from Phoenix, Arizona. Like and subscribe and comment if you want. Take care. Bye. Good morning, you beautiful weasel. How you feeling? I need to go outside. You need what? You say you need to go outside? Are you gonna bring the camera with me? Because that always makes it awkward. You bet I am. You bet. Here, let's clean that gunk out of your eye there. Oh yeah, there you go. Clean weasel. Clean weasel, ready for the day. Look at this handsome guy. Look at that handsome guy. I see your little buddy back there. That's my little Scottish bear I got from my friends in Scotland. He's out there waving at everybody that I pass, which isn't very many people because I'm slow. Right, Diesel? Most people pass me. Oh, that first breath of crisp morning air. Oh, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Wow. Whoever invented oxygen is awesome. So we're here in Floyd, Iowa, and we're going home tonight. We'll be there in about 12 hours or so. It's going to be fun. It's minus 30 at home right now without the wind chill. So I sort of want to stay here. It's only about minus 12 here. It's about to get real cold. Diesel, you stud muffin, you. Come on. Bring your glorious self down here. Oh no, you got all tangled up. Oh boy. Oh boy, we better fix that. Diesel. Diesel, you haven't gotten yourself tangled up like this in a while. Lift up, lift your foot. Lift your foot, there you go. You crazy beast. This is the load we're dealing with. It's uh, those metal pieces that hold trusses together. A whole load full of them going to a Hutterite -right colony. That's going to make a lot of trusses. Wonderful Minneapolis traffic here. Continue on this road for seven kilometers. See if I can get on the road first there, Karen. There we go. So we just arrived at the south end of Minneapolis. We turned onto the 494, which goes around the west side of the city take us up north to the I-94. That's gonna take us further west towards North Dakota. Once we get there, we take the Interstate 29 north up to Canada and back home. Somebody up there needs to build some trusses and they need all the stuff I have to do it. Trusses aren't gonna build themselves. I'm gonna bring this to them, and then apparently there's a load in the yard already waiting for me. That's going down, there's two drops. There's one in Indiana and there's one in Kentucky. I'm gonna leave with that either Monday, today is Saturday. So I'm gonna leave with that the day after tomorrow or Tuesday morning. It'll be a two day drive down there. And then I have a reload in Jackson, Tennessee. And I'm not too sure where that one's going yet, but my best guess would be Alberta. So that's my next week or so planned out. January is going to be a good month. I'll tell you what, it's usually pretty slow in January, but we're just giving her lots to do. Lots of always, always building some. People are always building stuff. Whenever I see stuff being built, I'm happy because that means they need truckers like me to bring them the stuff so they can keep building it. Other truckers carry stuff like produce and food. So when they see a, a full supermarket, that means a trucker had to bring it to them. That's good, gives us something to do. Puts food on our table. Everything came on a truck at one point. If you think about it, 
even the phone that you're holding right now that you're watching me on that was once on a semi it probably came from somewhere overseas let's be honest but it was on a boat it, well, it was probably made in a factory put on a truck brought to a port put on a boat brought over here taken off the boat put onto another truck brought to a warehouse and then wherever you bought it from ordered it and another trucker brought it from the warehouse to the store where you bought it and now you have it there's at least three truckers involved with that and one boat one ship so just by buying the phone you're holding you've helped contribute to three jobs in trucking plus many more along the way Even the chair you're sitting on, all that stuff was once on a truck. Isn't that crazy to think of that? I know you hear this all the time. It's sort of like, uh, all right, it's, people just roll their eyes already when they hear truckers say, everything good that you have came on a truck. It's, it's such an annoying thing that people say already, but if you really sit down and think about it. In two kilometers, keep to the left on I-494. It, it, it really is interesting. Like, what would we do if, if we didn't have trucks to bring us everything? I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm all that important, but it's nice to know that I have a job that has an impact, that, uh, you know, people, uh, it makes you feel like you're needed, you know? People need me. Like, these trusses that they're building in Manitoba with this stuff I'm bringing them, all those trusses, they're going to sell them to a building company, and they're going to build a building with them, and they're going to put a roof over someone's head. One kilometer, keep to the left on, I-494. So I'm literally actually helping to put a roof over someone's head. To keep them out of the snow and rain. I don't know, on days when I feel like, you know, Work is just meaningless. I try to think like that. I'm like, you know what? No. 400 meters. Keep to the left on I-494. Well, what other way am I going to go, Karen? Well, am I going to exit? Did you tell me? Do I need to exit? No, I don't. I want to stay on 49. Why wouldn't you just say, tell me when I need to turn? Tell me when I need to leave the 494. It's like driving Continue through. on this road for 29 kilometers. Didn't you say that before already? How many more times are you going to tell me, yep, keep going? Keep going. Yep, don't turn. Don't turn. Keep going. You only need to tell me when I need to turn, Karen. I can do the rest. The economy is such an interconnected web that we're all a part of, right? Like, if I wouldn't have picked up this load to bring to these trust builders, sure, yeah, someone wouldn't have a roof on their head. Maybe they would have bought it off someone else then. But and if we wouldn't, have, and if they wouldn't have bought this material, I wouldn't have had a job, and I wouldn't have been able to put food on the table. And also, the shipper where I picked this up from, they wouldn't have sold this stuff. And they wouldn't have made the money off it. They wouldn't have been able to put food on the table. And I'm sure they got to buy their steel and their material from someone. And that person is also connected to it. Then they wouldn't have had to buy that from them. I'm burning diesel fuel, bringing this up to Canada. All the truck drivers and all the people working in the refineries and the oil fields that contribute to getting the diesel fuel to the pump so I can put it in my tank. They're all connected to it, too. And all of their families all have food on the table. Oh, we're all connected. Whatever you think your job isn't important, remember, it's important. Every single one is important. You gotta keep the, roll, the wheels rolling. On my truck and on the economy. We gotta keep growing. We gotta keep making things better. Making things faster. Making money, making money. Look, look at this guy. I wonder what he's hauling. He's got a reefer trailer. I bet he's hauling some produce or something. Somebody's gonna have food in their fridge because of this guy. And there's some workers on some field somewhere that picked all that fruit. And they got money today because this somebody bought the produce and this guy came to pick it up. You guys get the point, right? I could go on forever and ever how we're all connected. You and I, we're connected. Somewhere down the line, our paths cross. Everybody's paths cross. And we're all important to each other. A rising tide lifts all boats. That's what they say, right? So 
when you're doing better, I'm doing better. When I'm doing better, you're doing better. We've made it to Alexandria, Minnesota. Just a coffee break. I'm gonna make this my half hour break too, actually. So I'm gonna go find a parking spot. I'm gonna fuel once I get into Canada because I want some Canadian fuel in my tanks. It's supposed to get down really, really cold tonight. So I wanna make sure I got some good Northern fuel in there. Well, I thought I'd have more space to get into these parking spots here. Looks like there's still some available. Weasel too. And there's no better way for us to be welcomed home back into Canada than with a closed scale. Continue on this road for 15 kilometers. You bet, Karen. You bet we're going to continue on this road for 15 kilometers because we don't have to stop at the scale. That's a beautiful thing. I love not seeing those lights flashing there. I love seeing the lights off at the scale over there. It looks beautiful. All closed up. It'd look even better if you put boards over the windows. But hey, I'll take it. Good to be home. <laughs> 